guys, Brad here from Piney Grove, and I'm not at Piney Grove today, and I'm a little distracted. I can't talk, a buck is looking at me. So it's about 7 o'clock, and I got a nice 8 point out in front of me, and also a 4 point. But the 8 point seems a little young, he's got a small body, and the 4 point actually has a bigger body. But he doesn't have much of a rack. I wouldn't consider either one to be a mature buck. Like a four and a half or a five and a half year old. I feel like they're looking at me. They're 80 yards away. Okay, here's your nine o'clock update. There hasn't been a lot going on. The, the two bucks that were here earlier took off running. They didn't like something in the plot. They heard or smelled something. They took off. Now it's 9 o'clock. It's probably two hours later. And I just now see a big doe around the corner. But other than that, it's been real quiet. Not a lot going on. But the wind's perfect. It's blowing right in my face. So I'll probably give it two more hours or so before I'll go out and check my cameras and fill my feeders. You can't see her, but the doe is feeding over there. This plot hooks around and she's back in that area eating right now. At least one. There might be more. So I just had a doe and a fawn show up right around 10 o'clock. This came out of the thick stuff to the right and just started feeding. That's been it for about an hour. Alright guys, I'm calling it a day. It's 11 o'clock and uh, saw some deer but not exactly the ones I'm looking for. So we'll just live to hunt another day. I guess that's why they call it hunting and not shooting. Stay tuned. More coming up. Day two, guys. I got three deer out in front. I got a really, really big doe. And I've got a doe with a fawn at the feeder right now. But what I'm waiting for is a buck that I call ribs. And that's because this rack looks like a rib cage. And checking the cameras yesterday... He's in this plot a lot, but mainly in the afternoon. So I'm here in the morning because I like the morning hunt. But maybe I'll stay for the afternoon hunt if he doesn't show up this morning. Nothing new. Same three deer. Nothing else has come out. So I just had a doe and the fawn come out of the woods. And this other doe started harassing him. I'm actually going to scope that other doe. It might be a spike buck. the same herd in the area but the ones that are feeding in the morning today are different than the ones yesterday. decision time because once you pull the trigger he can't go back. Part of me says I should take him. The other part of me says he's too young. 
what am I going to do? There he goes back in the woods. I just felt like it's a young buck. And even if it is ribs, the one that I'm seeing on camera, he's still young and he needs another year. I want their bodies to get bigger as well as their rack. So I passed him. Was it a good decision? I don't know. If you stay tuned to our channel, you'll know if I get a buck or not. But for right now, today, it doesn't look, uh, doesn't look like I'm going to pull the trigger. Just a lizard doing lizard things in the sun. All right, guys, I called it on that hunt. It's 11 o'clock and I didn't see anything past about 10 or so. And the wind's gonna switch this afternoon, so that blind was done for the day anyway. I don't think I'm gonna sit this afternoon because the winds are gonna be bad for just about any blind I would sit in. And that's the plot that Ribs comes to. So I guess We'll just hunt him on another day. He's gotta be right every time. I've only gotta be right once. So we got some good weather next weekend. So I think I'll just let it rest for a while and then come back out here after him then. But that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed this weekend hunt out here in North Florida. If you did, please click that like button. Otherwise we'll catch you on the next one. And remember, bucks stop growing as soon as you pull the trigger. Take care y'all.